good, beautiful people? It's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Because every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? As y'all can tell from the thumbnail, Bill Burr is back in the building, okay? Once again, <laughs> highly requested, y'all, okay? Um, this one is Bill Burr's Black Friends Clothes in Harlem, y'all. I've seen this all throughout my comment section on my last Bill Burr, Bill Burr video. So I had to jump into it. There were too many people that actually suggested this for me to just say one person, y'all. So thank y'all so much for suggesting this video. And thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, for just kind of, you know, putting me on and leading me the way, y'all. Okay, so I'm listening to y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, in case y'all didn't want to see this, I'm just saying, y'all told me to do it. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. Anyway, y'all, so... I ain't gonna hold y'all up, okay? This video is long enough, so go on and get your popcorn ready. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. <laughs> I, I don't know why I do that stupid shit. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, <laughs> I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine, I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them because I got to like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. <laughs> it's oh, like every gosh. time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. <laughs> all brand go. new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? Right. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. Hey, hey, <laughs> he got a point. Y'all, that's so funny that he said that because Zach said the same thing about him having to go buy some new shoes for the, for the fish, <laughs> for the fish fry. Remember he said he went to <laughs> the sports store to go get some J's, but here go Bill Burr saying basically the same thing. I got to go get all this new stuff. Y'all. Now nah, he didn't say that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like a rule or something. <laughs> Dude, even it. when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you gotta like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Cause God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period, one of them's gonna notice. Sure will. All of a sudden just look at you funny like this motherfucker's got the same shit <laughs> he had on last Tuesday. And then the whole car's like, oh shit. How you put that on? Then everybody just starts making fun of your fucking clothes. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. <laughs> he got five shirts. And they start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday, next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't be wearing no shirt. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs, you know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking L.A. riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible <laughs> PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got a nice car. He's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. Okay. No. Y'all, dudes keep their shoes icy already, okay? Clean, squared off. Ain't nothing you can tell me. Don't scuff my shoes. None of that, okay? So when you see one that's dirty, that's a problem. That's a whole problem. Oh, watch. <laughs> Watch. I figured out in my head because I know from hanging out with them that's the last shit that they're gonna let go the immediate shit that they have on so I think you know if his sneakers are fucked up that means his life is fucked up <laughs> every time he See? leaves his building the whole neighborhood oh shit <laughs> every time 
everyone starts making fun of him. <laughs> He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. <laughs> I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently. Uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village area in New York, you know, which is sort of like a racially mixed area. <laughs> so shit was cool, you know what I mean? The second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, hey. she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. <laughs> yeah, cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st <laughs> Street, start getting like a little asthma, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. <laughs> you right. feel that little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? Something feels a little weird. 106th Street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? Uh, How come there's no taxis up here? No, man. <laughs> dude, what's a bodega? <laughs> I don't know what that is, let's get, let's get the fuck out of here. No, so I'm sorry. praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing <laughs> over the horizon, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> she goes, no, man, you wanna get on the Uptown 2-3 train, you wanna get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, ah! that's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, y'all. I didn't want to laugh over the joke. Let me go back, y'all. Here's some mess. <laughs> fist Street, my God, fuck, I'm funny, Fist Street. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like right in the middle of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be surrounded on all four sides. I can't fucking do this. <laughs> so, oh, at gosh. this point, she I'm really trying to hide like, the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my oh. voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions for when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. Okay. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named after like a black leader, you know, she's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, go on the internet, look up Adam Clayton. No, Did he man. kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt? <laughs> dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton did. Fuck this shit. <laughs> So at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because oh, I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? <laughs> Just relax. Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. <laughs> oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm at. But I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. So I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I thought I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. It was ridiculous. <laughs> no, man. So I'm thinking I got to walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know, but I'm also really, really white, you know? Like, shockingly Caucasian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're not ready for me, I can, like, surprise you. Right? Oh, my gosh. No, especially if you live up there. You've probably seen a white person for hours, <laughs> possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical. Like a leprechaun came out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> but like I should have, like, a little pot of gold. Right. A rainbow behind me, top oh of the morning to you like it. No, sir. Kind of dance my way past them. But it's been going all right, you know? <sighs> Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax, sit down, you know, watch a hip hop countdown. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend like I know the groups, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs <laughs> it's just getting there that's a fucking pain in the ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it, because I figure, you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit though, right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl, right? Oh my gosh. Just that same gosh. awful feeling 
of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. I'm not even finna go. <laughs> Why would he even say that? <laughs> oh my God. Just leaving your people behind, you know, just oh, less shit. and less of you as you're fucking driving out there. Oh gosh. Probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2. The radio's off. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. Right. There's too much grass. I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every car. This is fucked up. <laughs> Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. My face is all sweating. These lights, y'all, that is too funny. I'm here like, whoo, y'all. Okay, my bad, my bad, y'all. He got me cracking up. He is a mess. He talking about the black people. <laughs> the black guy on his way to go see the, the white girl. He talking about, he up on the stairwell like this, y'all. Hey, <laughs> what can you say? I mean, y'all, Bill Burr is the whole mess, okay? What makes it, like, even more funny is that he's just telling the story from his own perspective. But he tells it in this way, y'all. It's just like, you can't. Like, you, <laughs> you can't. Like, what can you say? It's like he's joking in the truth, <laughs> in a sense. Like, a little bit, you know? But that's hilarious, y'all. Not the black guy standing on the corner and stuff and, and, and you scared to walk by. He's like, I got to walk by. Like, y'all, no, sir. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, this was this one was actually okay. I think I liked the last one better than I liked this one, but it was still good though. He was just telling the story here, but he was still like cracking me up. But y'all, let me know what y'all thought about it. It was it was still fun to watch though. So straight up, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure y'all give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all bye y'all oh shoot i'm hot Ooh. okay let me cut this off okay bill in here got me sweating <laughs> bye y'all